Hello, welcome to another video by Research Hub. In this video, I'll be doing two multivariate analyses based on a call citation uh, matrix file, that is factor analysis and cluster analysis. In the previous video, I showed you how you can use BibExcel to make the specific call citation matrix file. In this video, I'll be using spe SPSS specifically with the same call citation matrix file. First, we need to load in the call citation matrix file into SPSS. And in the previously, I saved the call citation matrix file as an Excel. So if you import data, you can import Excel. And you select the call citation matrix file. And you import it into SPSS. What I also mentioned in the previous video is that the, the number uh, for a pairing between the same author should be set to 1 for your multivariate analysis. So make sure that all the pairings with, with themselves are set to 1. Uh, you should also control that there's no extra columns or extra rows of variables or else it might something might go wrong. For now it seems fine. So we need to transform these numbers into correlations. The way you do it is simply running a factor uh, factor analysis, a, a dimension reduction for factor analysis to obtain the Pearson correlation. So select all the variables except for variable 1 because it's the author names and make sure that the coefficients are set the rest is not as important and that you have the correlation matrix set. When you've done it, you can click OK. What you now receive is a correlation matrix using the numbers from the co-citation matrix. So we should now save this correlation matrix as a separate file or a separate file here. Yeah. So we can now save it as an Excel worksheet. So now we need to open uh, Excel. We paste it in. Make sure that it's formatted correctly for importing it to SPSS again. And we save it. I'll put in the same folder previously. I will call it National Culture 500 Correlation Matrix. When it's done, we need to make a new, new data set for the correlation matrix numbers. And again, you import the correlation matrix that we saved as an Excel file. Click OK. And make sure we don't have any unnecessary variables that we're not going to use. And confirm that we don't have any extra columns or rows for the correlation matrix file. In this case, we had an extra color row. Now, we have now transformed the correlation matrix from single references uh, counts to correlation counts. And this is what will be the base for your multivariate analysis. So first, I'll demonstrate how you can use uh, this fact, uh, correlation matrix for a factor analysis. In a similar manner, we also want to do factor analysis by dimension reduction. You want to mark all the items, except for the variable with the names. Then you can click on descriptives and you can have coefficients, KMOs and determinants, but for this case we want coefficients. We make sure the correlation matrix is set on and if interested you can also have a scree plot if you want to base an eigenvalue more than one. In the rotation, you can do a normal Varimax, uh, rotate the solution, 
from the scores you might save it it's not needed and you should sort this by size and if necessary if you do have a uh, loading criteria you can suppress them already here however it will not suppress the negative ones so for now I will leave this open then you click OK so now you receive several analysis but the ones that are most interesting should be the total variance explained you will see that out of this factor analysis we receive seven components um, having cumulative cumulative variance explained 95 percent and the eigenvalues are different cutoffs you can see component one is explaining 51 percent the next one is playing explain 25 7 4 etc so this will indicate there are seven factors within the hundred most cited references in my pool of uh, retreat collection this can also be further highlighted in the screen plot because there are so many components it will be hard to uh, read from this table but you can decide to cut off for a specific component number if you want to look at the actual articles which fit into each factor you can look at the rotated component matrix in our case we see that majority of the publications would fit into factor 1 because the loadings are the highest for component 1 or factor 1 the next article the next component which starts is from Tiffany in our case for factor 2 and Altio for factor 3 etc so you should copy this rotated component matrix for further analysis for example by importing into Excel or other similar softwares so these this is how you receive your specific factors from a multivariate analysis from a co-citation matrix now I will show you how you will do this through uh, through the clustering analysis and clustering analysis is specifically using the hierarchical connectivity based clustering method or the ward method and you follow it up with a centric based cluster procedure or the k-means method it sounds very complicated but I will show you exactly how so we will also use the same correlation numbers <clears throat> the correlation matrix that we used previously but instead instead of going to dimension reduction we will go to classify and first we will classify by hierarchical cluster you select a hundred references you click on statistics and you want the proximity matrix as well you leave the cluster membership on none because we want to see the all possible solutions we also also wish to see a dendrogram for further analysis and in method make sure you select words method and you can leave these on then you click OK in contrast to factor analysis which base, base is based on eigenvalue and variance is explained in a hier hierarchical cluster analysis you need to look on the dendrograms and have a feeling for what number of clusters or groups you want to use um, you look at the agglomeration schedule and you can see each of the stages for all the hundred articles but what's most important is to look at the dendrogram and you can see you have different levels or different rescale distances with with unique numbers of clusters for each of them in, at level 0 we have all the hundred but as it increases you will see that the cluster solution becomes smaller and smaller so in the first solution we can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 possible clusters you can also count them by looking at the dashes out of these groups 
That is on the first level. On the next level, we can now count the bigger ones. We have one, two, three, four, four possible bigger groups. And as you expand the distance, you can get less amount of clusters. Now, if you would compare to what we got in the fact analysis, here it was seven components which could have a good high uh, percentage of varieties explained. Similarly, we received eight clusters, meaning that they seem to be similar. So now that we get an idea that the uh, hierarchical cluster method propose up to eight clusters, we now can use this number for the k-means method. Because in the k-means method, you need to specify the number of cluster solutions. So now, if you click on Analyze, Classify, k-means cluster, we need to select 100 again. But make sure you don't select any extra variables. And here you put in the number of clusters. Let's choose 8, as 8 was the first number we saw in the first level. We want to save the cluster membership, and this is for cluster center, in order for us to track any movements, if you want to do multiple analysis with different number solutions. Then you click OK. Now, you, you will see that each of the articles will have different cluster centers. And these will be hard to interpret, but what's most interesting is to look at the number of cases for, for each article in each cluster. And here we can see that there is a large group of 39 articles, and then you have subset groups. And if you go back to your original SPSS dataset file, that is the correlation metrics file, at the end, we have now saved which part of the cluster would, would they fall under. So the idea is that you can do, you can run several k-means analysis to compare the, the differences in the cluster memberships. So let's say we want to explore for seven because we found seven factors in the factor analysis. Make sure you have the 100 articles and don't add in edit any of these extra variables. You click OK. In our case, we now have 40 articles in the largest group. And the subset groups have increased in few. So you can now compare for each reference and each article what type of memberships did they have with 8 and what did they have with 7. So these types of multivariate analysis can help you to factor or group your specific uh, co-cited references for your co-citation analysis. So this was showing you how you can do multivariate analysis with the factor and cluster analysis. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.